Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Chanel. I am your dashing host, Christopher. And I'm doing something different right now. Um, there's a YouTuber, uh, she watches uh, videos, uh, movies, stuff like that. She reacts to them and she did one to this guy's name is Ryan George. And he does videos that are like pitch meetings and stuff like that and goes over movies. And I watched one of them and it was pretty funny. And then I saw he, he had a channel because he did them on Screen Rant. And then I saw that he had a channel and he does a bunch of this is called Sports Announcers Get Way Too Personal. And so um, I noticed that there were all, I was looking for like a 10 minute video. They're all three to six minutes long. So I'm going to do a couple of those. If you like them, I'll keep doing them. I'll do a pitch meeting and, you know, just for, instead of just doing some mysterious and dark stuff, throw in a little comedy here and there. I was also um, told by a couple of people that I work with um, to check out something that I've already forgotten. So I'll have to ask again. But anyways, um, this video... Right, right. Um, anyways, just going to go ahead and get into this. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even start properly. So YouTube had a competition. You know that, can you drink a gallon of water competition? No. No, no, no. We were doing the serious one. It was, could you drink a three and a half gallon jug of water in, in at least 20 minutes or less? Now, I'm not trying to brag. I did come in first place out of 314 million. And I drank two of them some bitches. And I was the only one that was nude below the waist. And I was just letting it go. I was just paying away. And so they tried to disqualify me, but there isn't anything written in the rules that says you can't do it. Um, but we did lose a lot of the YouTubers that day. A lot of people died. So, rip. And on to the video. This is not a request by anyone, by the way. This is just me. Sponsored by Rand. More about them at the end of the sketch. Oh, and the ref has given a five-minute major to Anderson for throwing his stick into someone's face. <laughs> nice mustache. It's like a javelin. That's right, John. That'll stall up this game a little bit as the referee cleans up all the blood and picks up all the teeth off the ice. There's Anderson settling into the penalty box, not looking happy with the call. Not too happy with his season, you can imagine, if you take a look at his number of goals compared to previous seasons. And it's hard not to notice, Larry, that that's a downward trend from his time in the Junior League with the Laval Rockets. Looks like the ref's trying to figure out the best strategy to clean up after that nasty play by Anderson. Anderson, of course, originally from Hamilton, Ontario, where he attended Westview Elementary and was by all accounts a gifted athlete and a lovely young man. What? A lovely young man, according to his sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Winslow. What Taking a look at his sixth grade report card here. Obviously great. <laughs> Can you imagine if, they, if the sports announcers really did all this? They do go into detail on some things that just, you know in gym class not so much in history and geography not very good with maps at all john how is this information relevant <laughs> taking a look at some other stats now as we near the end of the second anderson has blinked a total of 362 <laughs> times that's a fairly normal amount of blinking at this point in the game what oh looking like the referee's trying to figure out how to use the nozzle on his cleaning product and get this blood all cleared up there that should take a couple of minutes that'll give us time to dig a little deeper into our stats here with our penalty box vital scan so brought to you by soda cola what does that mean oh oh now what's interesting about anderson is that he's got a bone density like no other look at those numbers great bone density john but you gotta worry about that foot fungus the scan picked up now that could be athlete's foot or something much worse i have a foot fungus would you look at that resting heart rate though talk about a player with great cardiovascular strength larry great cardio john although checking our soda cola dna analysis dna analysis it should be noted larry that going back into anderson's ancestral family tree there have been some heart issues that's right john notably in the 1600s with anderson's great 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 great, great, great grandfather ebenezer anderson having died of a sword to the heart why would this be relevant data <laughs> well he had heart condition he died with a sword to the heart <laughs> That's right, Larry. Also important to keep in mind that Ebenezer's wife, Abigail, was found guilty at the Salem witch trials and burned alive <laughs> at the stake. Let's see if Anderson can put that family witchcraft to good use in the third period. Okay, you have way too much... She, 
It's the Salem Witch Trials. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go back to that one. Oh, she was found guilty in the Salem Witch Trials. Oh, my goodness. I hit my head on the wall. Oh. Oh, I got a hit play now. <laughs> I don't know how this works anymore. Oh. Guilty at the Salem witch trials and burned alive at the stake. Let's see if Anderson can put that family witchcraft to good use in the third period. Okay, you have way too much information on us. Now going back to the ref here, it looks like he's got a splinter or something, which is weird because there doesn't seem to be any wood around him. As the referee works on getting that out, that'll give us a chance to check our live stream at Anderson's house. <laughs> Don't show people my house. No, I've always said, John, the best way to get to know a player is to see how they live. Now you take a look at the size of that garbage can in front of his house. This is at 7281 May. Maple Street, of course. You just doxed me. <laughs> kinds of garbage containers put some real strain on the wrists when they're full. Right, which could realistically have an impact on Anderson's stick handling tonight. Come on. Looks like nobody's home at the moment. And taking a look at our soda cola forensic scan of the security pad there, you can see the most worn out numbers certainly make it seem like the passcode's a combination of the numbers 1, 9, 0, and 3. Okay, I'm 100% getting robbed. Good amount of distance between those numbers on the keypad. That could put some strain on the thumb with repeated movement. Can the game restart I don't like these sports casters at all checking in with the ref again looks like he's having a little power nap now little <laughs> sleepy boy oh my god and that should give us just enough time to connect with Anderson's long-lost father Michael who we tracked down and have on the line what hello son dad it's me <laughs> your dad how did how did they find you I just want to say I'm so dang proud of you and I'm sorry I left I shouldn't have left it's okay it's okay I love you, Dad. I love you too, son, and I want to be a part of your life if you'll let me. I would love that, Dad. I would love that. I take it back. These sportscasters are incredible. A touching moment for Anderson in the penalty box there, John. That's right, Larry. And looks like the ref is about ready to go, which should just give us enough time to check out Anderson's browser history. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hi there. Hello, it's me. I'm the astronaut. Oh, I got... I got tears. Oh, that was good. His mother burned alive at the Salem witch trial. Oh, man. Oh, look. I got a nice blister on my hand. And not because of you. It was just, you know, I hit myself with a mallet today. <laughs> burned alive at the Salem witch trial. Oh, no. Not the mother. The wife. Oh, that was good. Wow, that was four minutes. That did not feel like it was four minutes. That felt so short. Well, we're gonna be checking out more of these. Wow, I'm gonna um, find a pitch meeting. I could throw another one on now, but I wasn't prepared for it. So I'm just gonna do this one now and... Yep. <laughs> wow. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go for it. Uh, sports announcers get way too personal. Uh, play all. Sorry, I, I didn't plan for this. Um, This video is brought to you by my new YouTube's collectible. More about that at the end of the sketch. Okay, so we're all. Stop. This video is brought to you by. Okay, so this one's called the the. This video is sponsored by Nord. Would you stop, you son of a bitch? Now, how did you go forward? You went forward. What'd you go forward for? Go back. Stop. This is called The First Guy Who Designed Teddy Bears. Okay. 
This video is brought to you by my new U2s collectible. More about that at the end of the sketch. Okay, so we're all in agreement. Our next big toy launch is gonna be these little plush bears we came up with. I love it. Yeah, it's cute. I like it a lot. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> I have a concern. What is it? Aren't bears kind of dangerous to be around? Yeah. And this whole thing, this was Barry's idea. Uh, was it? Was it? Uh, I don't remember. It might have been me. Listen, I don't want to point fingers or be politically incorrect like or whatever, but I think... His name is the bears. The bear man's name is Barry. Barry might be a bear. <laughs> what? What? It just doesn't this seem like something a bear would suggest to lure people in? I don't know, man. You can't just accuse someone of being a bear based on their ideas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just think the little human should be raised to associate bears with hugs. Mm. You know, think they're cute and wander into their dens if they want. I mean, doesn't that seem like something a bear would want? Also, little humans. Little humans, yeah. Am I saying that wrong? Most people <laughs> would say kids or children. Right, yeah, I knew that. Kids. Mew, mew, mew. Uh, he said mew, mew, mew. <laughs> no, I didn't. This this guy's a bear, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm just not seeing it, man. I don't know what would make you say that. I mean, this is Barry Grizzle we're talking about. He's been to my house. <laughs> yeah, he- <laughs> Barry Grizzle. Was at that barbecue, the one where your cousin disappeared? I don't see why that's relevant. <laughs> yeah, Harry, this is crazy, my human. What would make you think I'm a bear? I have something to say. Whoa, Todd's a lot taller than I thought he was. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Oh, never mind. Aren't bears more afraid of us than we are of them? That sounds like a rumor a bear would start. Where'd you hear that? Barry told me that. Oh yeah, I did tell him that. That's super suspicious. How would they even measure that? Fear Factor with Joe Rogan. That's not what that show was about. Well, okay, let's just take a minute. Whoa! What? What? Are you trying to kill my babies? What? No. I'll kill you. I'm not trying to kill anyone. This feels like bear talk to me. Uh, it's, it's okay, I've calmed down a little bit. Okay. Or have I? I don't know. Look, everybody, I'm just trying to bring some joy into the world, okay? Put some smiles on the faces of those little humans. The little delicious snack-sized ones, <laughs> specifically. Delicious little snack-sized? Am I the only one hearing this? Oh, you know what? I am hearing it now. I think Barry might be a bear. Wow, well, okay. I guess everybody uh, zigzag out of here. I think we gotta run up or down a hill, one of those. Okay, you guys guys do you, I'm gonna go through your lunch bags and then stalk you for 30 minutes. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Hi there, hello? Uh, oh, yeah. Yep, I don't know if you guys like these or not. I'm doing them. Um, I'm gonna... <clears throat> this is a short video, so I'll include both of them that I did. And um, if I do multiple ones, then I'll... I'll, I'll put, like... Um, the like the guy who designs teddy bears plus um you know reacting to guy who designs teddy bears ryan george plus and then the number will be how many other videos that i have attached to it because these are just <gasps> excuse me these are just super short um and maybe i'll i'll actually have them set up so i can just go from one to the next um yep boy i needed that after the doc, I'm not getting over that, Sam. Um, yeah, I needed that. That that was fun. So I am going to call it a night. I still have a couple requests to do tonight, tonight, tomorrow, um, and then I'll have some videos out next week. So, anyways, I hope you guys uh, and gals enjoyed this because this was this this was fun for me. I don't know about you. Um, but I do appreciate it. Got to move the mic. All right. I do appreciate it. Uh, have a good night, uh, good day, whatever it is in your time, but just make sure it's a good one.